Boom shakalaka, whales wicked us off once again. Three reasons to be exceptionally bullish for cryptocurrencies and the line in the sand for Bitcoin. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including how we once got wicked off just again. Very important reasons to be bullish for crypto and Bitcoin. Before we get in, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us on Twitter, Crypto Love, push that like button. Now, today, fear and greed at 50, very neutral, has been neutral for the past few weeks. Interestingly, last month we were in greed. The overall market up 1% today, Bitcoin at 27,203, Ethereum at 1846. BNB at 307, XRP 47 cents, Cardano 37 cents, Dogecoin 7 cents, Polygon 92 cents, and Solana $20.46. And the top altcoins today, based on artificial intelligence, will be OVR, a cash network, Render, OKB, and Bitsy coin. And you can check out Token Matches for free. Link down in the description. Now, Bitcoin has broken back above this green line, the 100 day moving average, also around the $27,000 resistance support levels has broken back above there sitting right above there at the moment the top of this downtrend right now is at 27.6 can we break outside of this downtrend and hold it interesting question now it appears like everyone just got faked out once again based on the 200 ma of the 12 hour candles on the downtrend we had fake outs to the upside and it looks like on the uptrend, we have fake outs to the downside once again. Bitcoin right now, repeating what we saw in 2014 to 2017, we're hit a breakdown. We had some resistance a few times and broke between there. And once we broke above, finding support taking off. Well, same exact thing where we broke down resistance a few times. Now we are in between pretty much where we were in this area. Could be a nice setup for Bitcoin, but it appears like that area where Bitcoin is sitting is wick off accumulation mode. Bitcoin has completed the macro wick off accumulation. The whole accumulation lasted for one year. Next phase after accumulation would be markup phase. That's right. After whales get all the Bitcoin they can at cheap prices, well, the price goes up and they start selling that Bitcoin. It turns out that while a lot of people are saying crypto is over, we do have a bullish divergence right here on the price. And if we take a look on a macro scale where we are, markup, correction, accumulation, and then markup phase. This is what we saw uh, previously with the total market cap, where once we broke this downtrend, found support on there, took off for a new markup phase. Well, look at where we are right now. Broke above the downtrend, finding support there, could potentially be the next markup phase. It turns out that based on the November 28th cycles theory, uh, it remains perfectly on track and still calls for $34,500 by November of this year. The next blue year will establish time around the price before advancing to new all-time highs. So tell me, why are you still worried? We are still on track for price going up slowly at first, and then after the halving much more quickly, as a matter of fact, it's likely that crypto and NASDAQ are likely to follow the Nikkei, Nikkei into high levels, new all-time highs. Well, for crypto, that would be a large increase to go back up to new all-time highs. But you can see all of these have broken through previous downtrends and at least the Nikkei and NASDAQ have had pretty good gains. Crypto is still pretty sideways since breaking outside of there. Now, for Ethereum and altcoins, we haven't seen anything yet. The biggest alt season since 2016, 2017 is ahead of us. In case you haven't noticed, ETH copies a structure from 2015 to 2017 in front of your eyes. Patience. So if we take a look here, we had the start. We reached the top a bottom and then took off and once we broke through the top of there then it was really going up high well we have pretty much the same thing we have the bottom there and then we hit the top the bottom and now we've just been dragging along the bottom pretty much like we were doing here before it saw some massive gains for ethereum not only that but this altcoin chart this is a crypto total market cap excluding bitcoin and we have these wedges forming forming here once price breaks out from there have some massive rallies. We'll take a look at this. We have broken out of that top, sitting right above there, 
likely setting up for the next massive rally. Those who have patience will be richly rewarded because the brutal truth here is that 80% are impatient and think only short term. The other 20% is smart or know what's coming. Total market cap made a bullish cross back in March. The last time this happened was May of 2019. Now, we did have that summer rally, but for the most part, it was actually until about October when we really saw the gains taking off. So that was roughly about six months from that time period. Well, six months from March would put us roughly around September for a massive breakout in altcoins. And Bitcoin right now, this is the line, the resistance line. Once Bitcoin price broke through there, price rocketed upwards. Well, we're still a bit below there. But in the next two to three months, that would be the time period for Bitcoin to start hitting that with a parabolic growth on the way. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.